Hey guys, so today I'm doing a barn vlog. It's Sunday night, I finished work at 7, got done work at 6.30, went home and changed. It's really sad because it's summer and I'm wearing a long sleeve, but it rained today so it was pretty, pretty brisk outside, but I'm headed to the barn right now and I figured I'd do a barn vlog because why not? Um, also, I got a ton of requests on my barn tour to do a tag vlog or two, so I'm going to do that today. I was going to film just a separate video and then I was like, eh, we're just going to squish it in with a vlog because why not? Also, I love these shades so much. They're so awesome. But anyways, so that is the plan, and I will talk to you guys in two seconds when I pull up to the bar. Hey. Hi. Come here. Oh my god, look how dirty you are. Come here, dude. Hey, babes. Oh yeah, chomp on that apple. Are you going to say hi to everyone and show them how dirty you are? Look at this, I guess. Oh, come here. Did you have fun outside today? Did you have fun outside? Show everyone how dirty you are. Might have to come up with a backup plan because he's really dirty and I'm on like a limited time constraint. So I'm gonna just brush him off as fast as I can and then I guess maybe just take him for a hack or something. So I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> So before I start taking anything out of my tack locker, I thought I would do a quick tack locker tour. So here we go. This is my tack locker. <laughs> my name's like partially on it and this is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see just because the lighting isn't so great here. But there's two layers to it. So this back part just has all my clothes and I just have my three main pairs and then I have bell boots and then my four pack of Harry Horse dressage boots in turquoise because that's my favorite color. Then I have all my bottles in here, and this is the mints, but it's empty. I have hair spray, Chosin, Vectal and Shine, which is my favorite. Um, Alexa leather conditioner, Cowboy Magic conditioner, Mane and Tail, Avi. A second bottle of Shoshin, but this one doesn't have like a spray cap, it's just a backup. And then some iodine spray because he cuts himself a lot. So yeah, that's that part. Down here, the second part, I just have a grooming tote, which is actually just a grooming tote from Walmart that I got when I started riding. And I just have all of my brushes in here. A pan oh, I've been looking for these sunglasses for like a week awkward. Curry comb. I have a ton of brushes. I have a curry comb. You can get it at the pet store. It's like a zoomy groom and it's a dog brush, but it's the best curry comb in the world. And yeah, just, you know, your typical grooming kit. A lunch line, which I don't use. And then I just have these two containers, like, that are from Walmart. And this one just has a fly veil. So I have this BR one. A lead rope. My favorite one, which is from Shock Mole Sport. And I have a black super one. And then just extra socks for the winter. And then extra just, like, um, microfiber cloths for cleaning him. The second one, and this one's kind of empty. It usually has all my extra bits, but I'm selling them right now. So I just have his winter pads and then just an extra pair of shoes. Some latex bandage. I do have one bit in here, which is the one I used to ride in, which is a Springer Loose Ring Copper Snaffle. And then some extra fuzzies. And then this guy. And I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have a ton of that wrap. Um, an extra dewormer, some thrush buster, even though he's never had thrush. And his butte because he goes through the neck. Blood stop powder for his cuts. And then I have some hydrogen peroxide and some rubbing alcohol. My locker, and then I figured I'd just show you my tack as well. This is the barn tour, but this is where we keep all of our bridles and stuff. And so this is mine. And on it, I just have my bridle, which is a stupid simple snaffle I got like four years ago and I have a sheepskin nose cover because Sam does have a rub on his nose and then my bit which is a five and a half um French enclosure and it's just simple I have this nice bling brow band these are just um a pair of quick reins that I got when I went to Texas that I love for hacking I can just put them on his halter and then I just have my this is you guys have seen in videos it's just a pair of neck stretchers um, this is my saddle, which is a Keeper De Leche. I've got my saddle cover, which I don't use. And then some saddle, some saddle pads, and then that's my laser saddle. That's kind of like my locker tour and my tack tour, if you guys are interested. And I'm actually not going to ride tonight. Um, it's really nice weather out, and I haven't been able to actually bathe him, like bathe him since the show. So I'm going to give him like a, 
nice shampoo and conditioner bath. Um, it's supposed to be pretty dry this week, so he can't get too dirty. So that's what we're gonna do, and I'll take you guys along with me. My horse is, he's, Sam, what's up? <laughs> he's so dirty. You wanna have a bath? Are you gonna get a bath? Are you excited for your bath? <laughs> he's like so not excited. <laughs> He's now full of nice suds. You're gonna get clean. You gotta get clean for the ladies, buddy. We are taking a little walk. He's flustered because of bison over here. <laughs> the worst mom in the world right now. I'm making him go over to say hi to the bison. <laughs> he's really flustered right now. And he's not moving. Come on. <laughs> All right, we are going on a stroll because he needs to dry off and I'm too easy to ride. Also, don't think that like I don't clean my horse because I do, but he won't let me touch his face, so his face is dirty. Where you go? <laughs> we on for a little run. Dude, what's up? <laughs> He's really frazzled right now because I'm not letting him eat grass. To be honest, he doesn't even spook at cars. So it's pretty fun taking him for walks. You weirdo, stop looking at things. Alright, guys, we have just left the barn. If you guys don't know what the front looks like, that's what we're, we're gonna go left. Or we're gonna go, we always go right, so I think we should go right. <sighs> we're just going for a stroll. The street's pretty quiet, so. Like, look how cute my freaking horse is. He's so cute. Oh, it's a wasp. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't know. To be honest, sometimes I think that, like, non-riding vlogs are pretty fun because you just get to, like, hang with us, you know? It's like you guys are just, like, at the barn with us. So, anyways, we're going for a walk. Yeah. He's pretty chill, except for his face. Like, I'm sorry, he's so dirty, but he does not let me touch his face, so he gets a dirty face. We're literally walking in the middle of the street. But yeah, we're just kind of hanging out, to be honest. It's just a nice night. Plus, he's wet, so I'm letting him dry. He's drying pretty fast, though. But yeah, we're literally just going for a walk. There's, like, never any cars down here, so that's what's going on. And up here, I'll show you guys where, like, I talked about my bar in my barn tour, where, like, our property leads up to the road. So pretty cool. You can, like, go for a hack. And, yeah. I don't think there's anything more peaceful than, like, literally just taking my horse for a walk when it's not sunny. It is just, I'm so thankful. Oh my god. Anyways, oh I forgot to mention, thank you guys so much we hit 2.5k, which is crazy. Sam says thank you. Look how cute he is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for 2.5k. That's literally insane. I am like so like out of like words right now, so I kind of like a little crazy, but I'm so excited and thank you to all my new subscribers and I love you guys so much. Literally, your comments like make my day. I love you guys so much. You're all so positive and oh, okay, hi. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 2.5k. It's crazy. I just wanted to hit 2k for my birthday, which is next week. And the fact that we hit 2.5k is crazy. I would say let's try and hit 3k by my birthday on the 22nd, but I think that's too much to ask for. But he's like literally spooking himself. But anyways, we're just on this nice stroll and it's just such a nice night. And I just, it's just, I don't know. I'm just so thankful for life and like... You know, my horse may suck like every dollar on my bank account, but like I just love him so much. He's such a good boy and I'm just like so happy like I started this YouTube YouTube channel to like make memories and like the fact that I have like 2500 subscribers is insane. He sees other horses, right? <laughs> so, it's just it's honestly insane. He sees some horses. <laughs> so, we're going to turn around. Come on. Say them. He's like amazed by the fact that there's other horses over there. Salem! 
let's go home. Let's go home, dude. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. Now we are walking back. He's pretty happy about it. Like I said, I couldn't get this dirt off. I feel bad, but whatever. And you guys can like faintly see the barn. You guys can see the barns in the background, but this is like our, this is still our property. So the road like literally just comes off the gate. It's not usually open, but it is today. And I don't know if you, I don't. He, it's, he's so weird. He literally does not get freaked out by roads at all, but like bring him to like some kind of like grass or like forest and he really, he gets freaked out. Really such a weirdo watch. <laughs> like, he just gets so frazzled. <laughs> So if you guys can't tell, the paddock is like super sunny over here, but this forest leads back to his paddock. <laughs> so much energy, so he's just gonna run around, I think. <laughs> he's never like this, this is so weird. Can you tell how energetic my horse is? Canter. And oh. He has so much energy. Look at him. Come here. Come here. He's like really frazzled. <laughs> He's trying to roll. He's never rolled inside, so this is really weird. Really? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What are you, sir? Sir? Are you trying to roll, sir? Hey, you guy. See ya. Okay, so my horse officially hates me. He's never rolled in an arena in like three years. And he just did, and look how dirty he is. Oh my god. Salem, I'm going, okay, we're putting you back before you do anything else. That's stupid. You're such a dingo. <laughs> All right, say, say, this is where we say goodbye until tomorrow. I'm going to do an actual barn vlog tomorrow, guys, and ride. I'm getting aggressive with the carrot. Don't bite my finger off. He's so cute. Say bye everyone. Thanks for watching the vlog. Say hello. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm literally leaving. Come and give me a Aw, thanks, buddy. Give me a kiss. No, don't get angry. Come here. Hey, hey you. Come here. Give me a kiss. Thanks, dude. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so excited to get my camera because I never have to worry about like running out of room on my phone. I'm always like constantly like worrying about running out of room on my phone. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm sorry, it was kind of a boring vlog, but to be honest, in my opinion, sometimes I like, I really enjoy vlogs where people don't ride and they just kind of like hang with their horses because like there's so many people I know that don't just like hang with their horses. They literally come to ride and that's it. And I think it's so important to come hang out with your horse and brush your horse and just like chill out with your horse. How many times am I, really, am I gonna say hang with your horse and chill with your horse in this club? I just think it's so important to just like spend time with your horse, especially Sunday night. Sunday nights have kind of become like my chill night with Salem because it's, it's almost like it gets too late to ride. And I was gonna ride tonight, but he was so dirty and I just didn't have time, but. Anyways, I got a comment saying I play with my hair a lot. I know, I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and stop doing that. But anyways, so thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you just enjoy like these kind of casual vlogs. Also, I'm really happy I filmed my tack locker tour because I got a ton of requests on my barn tour video to do that. And like I said, I always read my comments and I answer my comments. So if you ever have any questions, just let me know. I read every single one of my comments and it makes my day when you guys comment on my videos. So yeah, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe already because I post a lot. Plus, I'm getting a camera for my birthday so I'm gonna have those nice quality videos guys I'm so excited like a little happy family and it's pretty cool and awesome so that's the reason why you should subscribe but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I touched my hair I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and I totally almost forgot but if you guys don't know or if you're from the Ottawa area you would know about Blues Fest which is a music festival near us and it's a two-week-long music festival with like pretty big acts I'd say like the Lumineers came um, Zed's Dad, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Sam Hunt, 
Madeline Merlot, Thomas Rhett, and Brad Paisley. And I'm going on Wednesday and Friday, and so Wednesday I'm going to see Brad Paisley, and Friday I'm going to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Zed Zed, which is like an EDM group. I'm going with Chloe, and I'm so excited. So let me guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do a vlog from the music festival, because I let me know if you guys want me to do one of those, because I will totally vlog it, and Chloe would totally be okay with it, because Chloe like loves my YouTube channel. So yeah, let me know let me know down below if you guys want me to film my music festival, because I totally will, and I bet a bunch of you guys are Brad Paisley fans. So yeah, so let me know if you guys want me to do that down in the yeah, you know. Just I'm gonna comment my Snapchat right here because a ton of you guys have been adding me on Snapchat, and I like post a lot of Snapchats at the barn. And if you guys just want like a peek into my personal life, you guys should have me on Snapchat. Also, I'll leave my Instagram right here because I post a lot of pictures on my Instagram, so you guys should follow me on my Instagram. Those are my social media links, as always, are down below in the description bar as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Quick second to look at this beautiful sunset. Literally, country sunsets are like the reason I live.